Hey guys, I'm Anders, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this effect. Alright, so the bricks were manually pasted in after the footage was taken and then given a shatter effect. Alright, let's get started. Create a new composition. And let's just call it shatter. Drag in your footage. Here's my original footage. Uh, turn it down to quarter again. So you want to find a place where we strike the invisible bricks. Right about here. That's good. Press your asterisk key on your numpad to create a marker. Alright, that's good. Now we need to create our bricks. I found a picture of a brick on Google. Here it is. We want the brick to be the size of the entire composition. For me, that's 720 by 480, I believe. Now, you're probably asking, why does a brick have to be the size of the entire composition? My brick isn't that big. That's a good question. Well, our brick is only this big, but the rest has to be a transparent area. Why, you ask? Also a good question. Alright, so in this composition, the bricks, they're not the size of the whole composition. As you can see, they're only the size of the brick. Watch what happens when we try to shatter it. As you can see, when the bricks explode, they stay in their area. They will not leave the square, and that looks really, really bad. In real life, we want the bricks to spread out everywhere not in this square. To do that, we're going to have to increase the size of the brick layer. Alright, so here we are, the brick layer in Microsoft Paint. And I'm pretty sure you all have Microsoft Paint. Unless you're using a Mac, then I'm pretty sure you have some Mac program that can do this. But anyways, go to image attributes. And for the width, select the width of your composition. Minus 720 by 480. Now, using this select tool, select your brick layer. And select this. That would help too. Now just move it down to about the lower third, not completely at the bottom, or when the bricks fall down, they'll be cut off by this. So keep it here, I guess. That's a good place. Alright, now let's go File, Save, and I'll just call it Brick Shatter. Okay, back in After Effects. So we have our footage. Let's import our brick shatter. And drag it on. So as you can see, the white has covered our original footage. But don't worry, we can fix that. On your effects and presets, type in key. And I'll use a color key. Normally in these cases, you're supposed to use a Luma key, but by personal preference, I like color key better. See? If you set the key color to white, 
it'll get rid of all the white area around the brick. If it doesn't do the job for your brick, you can mess around with the color tolerance, etch thin and etch feather to get a good looking result. Mine looks pretty good right now, so I'm going to leave it as is. Alright, now we want to drag our brick into position. So, right here. Now, another thing you notice is the bricks. The color doesn't really match the footage. It's a bit too bright, so we'll make it a bit darker. On your effects and presets, type in levels and drag the levels onto the brick layer. Now just fine tune it a bit so it looks a bit darker. That works. Okay. Also, we want to add a drop shadow. just to add to the realism. Alright, as you can see, my shadow is over here. So I'm going to set the angle to there, so the shadow will match the shadow of the real footage. Now I'm going to increase the distance of the shadow, and the softness. Maybe it's about 40. Maybe a bit higher. There you go. It's a very soft shadow. It's not too noticeable, but it adds to the realism. Realism? Sorry. Of the effect. Alright, so down here. Let's just rename this. Rename this layer so we can find it easier. Let's just call it Brick 1. Now duplicate it as many times as you need to, to fill up this space. So I'm going to drag brick 2 up a bit. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, we need to add the shatter effect. Duplicate each of your brick layers. Rename this to Brick 3 Shatter. Duplicate Brick 2, and rename that to Brick 2 Shatter. And the same with brick 1. Okay, that's good. Now in your effects and presets, type in shatter. And just drag the shatter onto each of your shatter layers. Now as you see, there's a bunch of brick shapes with a blue circle and a blue star. This is your forces. The blue circle is your forces and the white is a representation of what it's going to look like. So if you can move the bar up, you can see the bricks, they're shattering. And let's first turn off the bottom two layers, so we just work with one layer. And that's the top. So you can see them shatter. 